Come a sermon on baptism by Saint Passion Bishop. Who oh, of God is like you? You take away guilt. As we have borne the image of the earthly man, so we shall bear the image of him who is from heaven. Since the first man who came from the earth is earthly, but the second man who came from heaven is heavenly. And so, dearly beloved, we shall not die anymore, even if we fall asleep in this body. We shall live in Christ, as he said, Whoever believes in me, even if he die, shall live. As the Lord is our witness, we are certain that Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the saints of God are alive. For concerning them, the Lord says, they are all alive. For God is a God of the living and not of the dead. And the apostle says of him, for me to live in Christ and to die is gain. I would rather die and be with Christ, and again, but while we are still in this body, we are away from God, for we are guided by faith and not by appearance. This is what we believe, dearest brothers. For the rest, if we please or hope in this world, we are the most miserable of men. Life in this world, whether it be that of beasts, wild animals, or birds, as you yourself see, is either similar to ours or more tedious. What is peculiar to man and what Christ gives through his spirit is eternal life. But only if we see no more. Thus, death is acquired by sin, but avoided by right living. Life is lost through sin and preserved through good living. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It is Christ who redeemed us, as the Apostle says, forgiving us all our sins and destroying what was recorded against us by disobedience. He bore our burden in public view, fixed it to the cross, stripped his own flesh, exposed the powers of this world, and freely conquered them in himself. He released our shackles and destroyed our chains, as David had said. The Lord lifts up what has been torn down. The Lord frees those in shackles. The Lord gives light to the blind. And again, you have destroyed my chains. I will offer sacrifice to you with praise. And so when we come to the sign of the Lord in the sacrament of baptism, we are freed of these chains and liberated by the blood of Christ and by His name. Therefore, beloved, we are washed clean, but once we are freed only once, we are received into the immortal kingdom once and for all. Once and for all are they happy whose sins are forgiven and whose stains are blotted out. Hold fast to what you have received. Preserve it joyfully, sin no more. Keep yourselves as children cleansed by that sacrament and made spotless for the day of the Lord. Please like and subscribe.